Hello, Ellie here from Thankful Flow Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me for another practice. Today we are going to be doing um, another vinyasa style flow, um, working into some balancing, a little bit of <clears throat> working into a little bit of eagle pose. Um, so we're going to start the class in a in hero pose. Now, if hero pose doesn't work for you, you can come into a kneeling position in, or an alternative seated position. So recommend having blocks and props to support you underneath the hips if you need to. So making sure that the thighs are squeezing in together, rolling the calves and the heels out to the side as we sit the hips down. So getting this lovely stretch into the thigh, piriformis. So closing off the eyes when you're ready or taking a steady gaze out in front. You can just rest the hands on the lap, palms facing down, a gesture of grounding. It's coming to our Sankalpa, our intention for this practice today. And you can have an intention that is personal to you. But I offer you the intention today of I am enough. I think I mentioned this in another practice on here that I did recently. Sometimes it's just remembering that everything that you're doing, everything that you are, is and always will be enough. So we're leading with the breath, following with the body and observing with the mind, listening to the body in this practice, taking a child's pose, taking modifications whenever you need to, practicing ahimsa, non-violence towards ourselves, towards our body, as well as others, it starts within. So opening the eyes back up now, if you had them closed. And we're gonna bring our arms into our eagle position. So you're gonna cross the right arm over the left, finding your eagle. So you can either have the palms of the hands coming together or the backs of the hands, or if it really doesn't work for you, you could take a hug instead. So lifting the fingertips up towards the sky. So when we're in our eagle, we're lifting the arms, feeling that stretch into the shoulders, the cervical part of the spine, this upper part of the spine. Unraveling the arms, switching it over. So left arms on top of the right this time. It's okay if each side feels quite different. Lifting, fingertips reaching up towards the sky. Setting your breath into the back of the body. The shoulders, the shoulder blades, the upper back. Unraveling the arms now, taking a couple of shoulder rolls. And then we'll come into our tabletop position. Moving through a little bit of cat cow. Inhale, open across the chest. Exhale, drop the head round the spine, draw that belly button in. Inhale, shining the heart forwards. Exhale, tucking that pelvis, draw that pelvis up and in towards the body, tuck the tailbone in. Inhale, lifting the gaze, making space across the chest. Exhale, drop the head round through the spine. Inhale, come back to a neutral spine position now. Tuck the toes under. Exhale, press the mat away with the hands. Downward facing dog. Good. 
come up on the toes as you inhale so heels are coming away from the mat exhale draw the heels down towards the mat inhale lift the heels away exhale draw them back down once more inhale heels come away from the mat exhale heels come back down to the mat walk the feet in now towards the hands hang down in a little forward fold inhale here lift the chest slightly interlace the hands folding over letting the hands drop over as well so we're opening into the heart space and a hatha heart chakra keeping as much bend in the legs as you need to shifting a little bit of weight into the balls of the feet inhale release the hands you can bring them to the hips draw the belly in towards the spine lifting the chest meeting in our Tadasana mountain pose coming to the top of the mat inhale fingertips reach up lift the ribs away from the hips exhale hinging from the hips fold forwards inhale lift your chest and lengthen your spine halfway lift exhale hands come down to the mat step or jump back to plank work through your chaturanga inhale upward facing dog or cobra exhale we float back to downward facing dog And as you observe your thoughts today in your practice, coming back to your intention, especially if you took the intention with me today of I am enough, perhaps just observing any thoughts coming through and noticing what's there, noticing if they're in line with this intention and it's okay if they're not, we're just noticing, we don't have to label anything inhale send the gaze between the hands step or jump the feet in lift the chest lengthen the spine halfway lift exhale forward fold inhale sweep the fingertips up to the sky grow the spine tool exhale hands through to heart center inhale fingers reaching back up to the sky lifting up and out from the waist exhale hinge from the hips fold forwards inhale lifting the chest halfway lift exhale hands come down to the mat step or jump back work through your chaturanga inhale upward facing dog or cobra exhale back to your downward facing dog taking a moment to find your breath again here inhale we're going to step this right foot through between the hands reach the fingertips up to the sky find your high lunge floating into a warrior three grounding through your right leg press the left foot out behind inhale start to lift the chest see if you can sweep this left leg through and around so bending through the right leg starting to find our eagle so hooking the right leg over the left and then the left arms coming over the right so again, taking any modifications you need here. You could have the toes connected to the mat hovering, but what we really wanna do in our eagle, wherever you are, is sit the hips down and lift up with the fingertips. Strong inner line of energy. 
really grounding pose as well. We're really grounding into the earth with our feet. Everything's squeezing together. Body's folding in on itself. <laughs> Well done. Start to unravel from your eagle. See if you can take a big step back, open out to a warrior two. And then flip the palms up so that they're facing the ceiling. We'll flow our warrior here. So as you inhale, lifting up and out from the waist, floating the fingertips to the sky. As you exhale, float back down. And you can imagine moving energy with your hands here. So inhale. Imagine drawing energy up, exhale, you're grounding that energy back down. Two more, inhale, pressing the energy up to the sky, exhale, grounding back down. Last one, inhale, and exhale, pausing in that warrior two, relax the shoulders and float the hands around frame that front foot and work through your chaturanga inhaling upward facing dog or cobra exhaling back to your downward facing dog you can always take a child's you can always take a child's pose here Keep staying strong through the arms, relaxing the head. Left side, so inhale, step the left foot through between the hands, reach the fingertips up to the sky, lifting up and out from the waist. Bring the weight into your front leg. Find your warrior three. Don't worry if you need to add in a couple of little steps here and there. <laughs> that's okay keep the right leg nice and switched on here imagine pressing it into something stay with your breath you can have the hands on blocks for warrior three if you need to now inhale lift the chest back up with control can you sweep this right leg around bend through the left leg take your hook to find your eagle so left arm's coming over the top of the right this time. Reach the fingertips up to the sky, sink the hips down. Keep breathing into that space. Imagine drawing energy up from the ground into the body. Doesn't matter if that right leg isn't wrapped around fully. Just take an option that works for you. And then seeing if you can start to release from your eagle with control. Right leg's coming back. Step it out to your warrior two, left side. Flip your palms up so they're facing the ceiling. Inhale, draw your energy up to the sky. Float the warrior. Exhale, release that energy back down. Inhale, lift that energy up. Exhale, float it back down. Inhale, lift up and out from the waist. Exhale, sink back down, last one now. Inhale, lifting and lengthening. Exhale, coming back down to warrior two, pausing here. and float the hands around to frame that front foot step it back move through your vinyasa inhale upward facing dog or cobra exhale back to downward facing dog option for a child's pose if you wish to take it <laughs> Take what you need from this practice and that might not mean taking every single step that I guide you through and I want you to honour that, listen to that. I'm guiding you but this is your practice, this is your time on your mat. 
So this time, inhale, we're going to sweep the right leg up to the sky, find a three leg dog, stay strong through the arms and shoulders. Release that right leg in. We're going to bend the right leg, bend the left leg and hook your right leg around the left leg. See if you can find an eagle legs position here in your downward facing dog, okay? So again, it doesn't matter if this right foot isn't hooked completely around the left leg, just taking a version of this. So when we're working with a lot of eagle postures, we're internally rotating with the hip joint. So this can often feel for a lot of us quite a strong place to be it's not a range of movement that we're usually taking so breathe into it right now we're going to unravel bending this right knee draw your right knee to tap the right elbow <laughs> step the right foot through between the hands and reach the fingertips up to the sky Now we're going to bring the weight back into the right leg, find a standing split. So left leg's coming up to the sky. And then you might like to give yourself a bit of space here so you can walk the hands out slightly from that right foot. And what we're going to do is inhale here. On the exhale, bend both legs and hug this left leg to the outside of your right leg as you drop down. Inhale, we lengthen the left leg back up to a standing split. Okay, so two more. Drawing that left leg to the outside of the right leg. Lengthening the left leg back up to the sky. One more, hugging everything in, bending through the legs. And lifting that left leg back up to the sky. Well done. <laughs> Take a big step back back with the left leg and the right leg and vinyasa inhale upward facing dog or cobra exhale downward facing dog feeling that heat and that fire <laughs> take a moment to reconnect with your prana Maybe taking a moment to come back to that intention, that Sankalpa. This time we inhale, sweep the left foot up to the sky. Find that open hip, three leg dog, strong through the arms and the shoulders. Bend the left leg, draw it in. See if you can hook that left leg around, finding this eagle position with the legs in your downward facing dog. So keep pressing the mat away with your hands. Legs are squeezing in together. See if you, you can draw your belly down towards the thighs. Well done for staying with me. Unraveling now, left knee comes to the left elbow. Step the left foot through between the hands. Sweep the fingertips up to the sky, lift up and out from the waist, high lunge. Bring the weight into the left leg, finding our standing split. Taking a breath here. And then same again, but on this side. So we're bending both legs. So this right leg's coming to the outside of the left leg as we bend and hug everything in. Inhale, sweep that right leg back up to the sky. Bending both legs, hugging everything in. Strong through the glutes. <laughs> Reaching that right leg back up to the sky. One more, hugging everything in, bending both legs. Reaching the right leg back up to the sky, holding here. Now taking a big step back with the right leg and the left leg and we vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment to check in with the body. Inhale, 
now gaze comes between the hands, step or jump the feet in, lift your chest, lengthen the spine, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, sweep the fingertips back up. Lift your ribs away from your hips. Exhale, hinge from the hips, fold forwards. Inhale, lift your chest, lengthen your spine. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Step the feet back. Drop your knees straight down, keep the elbows tucked in, lower the body down to the mat. So we're lying on our front now. We're gonna take a shoulder stretch here. So doing quite a lot with our eagle arms, with the shoulders. So we're gonna reach our right arm out to the right side. And then you can use this left hand on the left side to press into the mat. And we're rolling onto the right side of the body. So finding a stretch into the shoulder. Now to increase the stretch, you're gonna bend this left leg and you can start to take that foot behind and you'll notice that feeling into the right shoulder area, stretching into that space. Just taking a few breaths here. Allowing the body to start to absorb this practice. Well done and gently unraveling, coming back to centre. And now we switch over to the other side. So this time the left arm's coming out. And if you want to increase this, you can cactus the arm here. And then we start to roll over onto the left side, maybe bending that right leg and bringing it out behind. So you can either keep this left arm cactus or you can have it straight. And again, just be mindful of your limits here. We're not pushing anything to their absolute limit. We're always coming to that place before your limit. Keep taking your breaths here. Starting to slow the breath back down. And unraveling, coming back to this lying position on your front. And then we're gonna open into the hips now. So again, we've been doing quite a lot of closing through the hips with our eagle posture. So a little bit of a counter, counter pose to that. I'm gonna offer you our frog position. Now, frog's quite a strong place to be. So if you wanna take half, flop, half, half frog, you're gonna do five breaths with the leg coming out to the side like so. So we're bending that right leg. And what we're looking for is that we roughly want this right knee joint in line with the hip. We're creating roughly the 90 degree angle with the leg, but that's what we're working towards. So you're either gonna be taking five breaths on this side, and then you're gonna switch over to the other side for five breaths, or <laughs> you're gonna do both legs at the same time. Okay, so we've got the knees coming out to the side, and then melting the body down. Try and rest the head on the hands. And just allow this opening to take place into Svadhasthana, second chakra, or hip space. So this can often feel a very strong place to be. And that's okay. So we store a lot of emotions, tension in the hip area, the lower back, backs of the legs. 
Just honouring and observing whatever's there. And if it feels too much at any time, remember you can ease off, you can do one leg at a time, you can use some support under the hips like cushions, bolster. Trying to surrender and let go as much as you can here. Last breath. And then using the hands to walk those legs back in, bring the knees in together and we'll exhale, take a narrow leg child's pose. Sit the hip back, hips back towards the heels, melt your forehead to the mat. I want you to really try and connect your forehead to something, so whether that's the mat or your hands or a block, so we can connect to this energy centre in the third eye, our intuition. And having some connection on this area can also help us to come into our rest and digest, parasympathetic nervous system. So as always, if you have longer to stay in a child's pose or take a shavasana or meditation here, I really strongly recommend that you do that. If you are ready to finish the practice, I'm going to open the eyes back up. Take an inhale and just walk those hands back in, coming back to our kneeling position on the mat. Thank you so much for being here and joining me for this practice. Um, I really, really am grateful for you being here flowing with me. If you would like to see more of what I do, then check out the link below. Um, make sure that you're subscribed to this channel. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to see you again very soon.